Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And I'm Ollie's dad. And today we're going to be introducing an English gentleman to internet slang. Um, <laughs> I love that we do this. The, the guest never has any idea what we're going to do until Josh says. Would you say that you are a purveyor of slang? Uh, no. <laughs> I use a lot of words that are probably not in common parlance. Well, these are in perhaps too common yeah. parlance. Oh, yeah, very common. Yes, those are the ones I don't use. First up, might as well get out of the way. Netflix and chill. <laughs> Netflix and chill. Yeah. Well, I know what Netflix is. If I was to say to Josh, I just or no, that. if I'm Josh, like if Josh was to say to me, I'm like, what are you up to tonight? And he's like, probably a bit of Netflix and chill. So that's presumably be, being a couch potato yeah. and watching the TV. I think that was how the phrase started. That's Do you want to explain, started. Josh? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It kind of evolved into meaning, you know, maybe getting a bit intimate on a date at home. Yeah. Oh, really? And now oh. it refers to when mommy and daddy have a special hug. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, I wouldn't know that. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be careful with that one. Moving swiftly on. Cancelled. An example would be I love pineapple on pizza. And the response is, you, you're cancelled. You're cancelled. Is that the end of a date? <laughs> yeah. No Netflix and chill. Uh, cancelled the Netflix and chill. It's like the concept on the internet of public shunning, like in response to controversy. How about ship? Oh, this is old school. Well, it's shipping things. Shipping people, in fact. Oh. <laughs> People trafficking is not a good thing. No, 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 <laughs> nothing to do with people trafficking. I mean, it's a weird phrase, but you could say, I really ship Taylor Swift and Harry Styles. Well, that's old news. That I'm showing school. my yeah. age. I was going to say Mickey and Minnie Mouse, because <laughs> dad knows who they are. Friendly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you ship so, them, you want them to get together. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. So it's matchmaking. Yes. You can't well, kind of, it's kind of like hoping that they will get together. Kind of Usually you use it when you're talking about two people that you don't actually know in real life. Right, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. With every new slang word, he's more lost. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what a troll is? Well, there's someone on the internet doing something not terribly good, I think. Well, no, in this case, it's actually in referring to Nordic mythical creatures <laughs> who live under bridges. <laughs> yes, I did know that a troll was that, yeah. Is that an internet stalker? Not a stalker, but someone who deliberately... Says mean things, basically. Says, like, hateful things. To yeah, okay. Often to kind of stir up controversy. The definition is... A polemic. Oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Someone who posts <laughs> deliberately provocative, controversial messages online. Oh, someone with the intention of causing maximum disruption and argument. Yeah, I'm going to use that next time someone's a troll on our channel. Oh, stop oh, being such a polemic. Such a polemic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. Who do you think you are? <laughs> all right, next I've got screaming in all caps with asterisks either side. Yes. I guess that means that someone's upset. <laughs> 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 Maybe. I mean, that would make sense. It uh, generally relates to if you're finding something really funny or you're really excited. Oh, right. Okay. So, like, when we release a new video, yeah. for example, you could text me. Saw the new video. Yeah. Asterisk. asterisk. Screaming asterisk. All caps. That would yeah. be the best text. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like people saying wicked when something's good. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, if, if we lived in the 1960s, yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's move on to laughing slang. So, okay. you know lol. Yes, lol. laugh yeah. out loud. Yeah, because yeah. for a while, Classic. I think you thought that was lots of love. I still use it as lots of love. <laughs> yeah. so, that sometimes you'll be like, oh, I'm sorry you haven't ha you've had a bad day, Ollie, lol. <laughs> That's too good. That is too good. Uh, do you remember ruffle? Ruffle? Do you eat it? <laughs> no, uh, no, it's not a waffle. Ruffle is rolling on the floor laughing. Oh, right, no, I've not come across that. Obviously, you're already laughing out loud and you've taken to the floor to continue laughing. <laughs> Maybe more extreme than that is Lamau. Yeah, Lamau, L-M-A-O. Can you have a guess at what that stands for? <laughs> <laughs> laughing my 
Arsenal. Yeah! Whoa! He's got it! He's yes. got it! Oh, he's tuning in. There you the go. Frequency. There you go. The frequency there you go. of insert slang. <laughs> All right, if something looks on fleek. On fleek? So, like, your eyebrows are on fleek. <laughs> eyebrows on fleek is a classic <laughs> one. That's Nicely classic. groomed. Ooh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. He's getting yeah. it. He's getting it. On fleek is, like, cool and well done. Dank. Some dank memes. Well, dank uh, surely means uh, dark and damp. You go into a wood and it's dark and it's damp. It's dank. A dank okay. wood. Yeah, yeah, That's you're right. Well, but if memes are dank, they're like cool. Sorry, what was the previous thing? <laughs> memes. Do you know what a meme is? No. <laughs> you don't know what a meme is? <laughs> okay. Hey, we will have to do, give you, I guess, probably memes 101 with Dad. Because that is a First whole new rabbit of hole, memes. Dad. Comment below if you want to see Ollie's dad react to memes, slash send us memes that you want to see him react to. The next, I didn't put in this list, is a Belfie. Oh, no. A Belfie oh, as no. opposed to a Belfry. <laughs> no. No, a Belfie as opposed to a selfie. Oh, okay. Do you know a selfie? A Belfie? You're not going to get this. I have no idea. It's a selfie that features a bottom. <laughs> okay, so this is mooning. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bear bottom. <laughs> right. It could just, it, it's, it's more in the see, position. I can see how that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mooning, yeah. Would be, yeah. No. It's not mooning. What if someone's thick with two C's? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, I've no idea. I mean, it used to be that someone's stupid if they're thick. <laughs> yeah. That is the traditional, yeah. yeah. This refers to curves. Someone's very curvy. Someone's curvy. Oh. They're thick. Yeah. Might take a lot of belfies. A lady, <laughs> I'm presuming. <laughs> well, not necessarily. <laughs> Ollie's got thick thighs. It has been observed. Oh, yes. It has been observed. <laughs> has observed. Okay, Josh has got some serious clout. He's got clout, man. Bear clout. Yeah. Well, clout is influence. Yes. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Okay, well, that hasn't changed, that, yeah. except it's just been applied to the internet. Yeah, it's been appropriated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. by the young'uns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If Josh was to say he stands me. I have no idea. Yeah, no, this is a hard this one. This is a hard one. Probably about when we, when we yes. were growing up. That's probably not what I will be familiar with. <laughs> you're, not, you're not a big fa fan of Eminem. So the song Stan is about a super fan of Eminem. Of Eminem. Who went a bit extreme or crazy. But the slang has come to mean basically being a super fan. Man, man there's so much of this. This feels like it's never ending. <laughs> yeah. Leading on from Stan, bias. This is relatively new. Yeah, it's pretty well, new. Last couple of years. I feel like it's, it's related to K-pop as well. A lot. In NCT 127, Mark and Jaehyun are my bias. Okay. Perfectly equal, even though I am related okay. to Jaehyun. Actually, my uncle is from England, uh -huh. and when he jokes, mm -hmm. it looks exactly like... Yeah, really? Yeah. really? Yeah. It probably could be his uncle. Yeah, I'm probably good. I'm probably good. We should check. Am I your uncle? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you lost me somewhere. <laughs> my bias is towards those two. So bias means Bias. Yes. Preference. Preference, yeah. 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 Exactly. What if you're woke? Now I've heard this and I always get confused with the England fast bowler. Chris Wokes. The Chris <laughs> Wokes. Wokes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're woke, you're kind of aware of the zeitgeist, aware of current affairs. You know what's going on. Probably also it refers to being of a certain political persuasion. Yeah. Being le like broadly liberal when it comes. Yeah to social affairs. So I'm very woke. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of often held to hand in hand with that is salty. Do you think salty is a good or a bad thing? Salty. I would expect it to be a good thing. But the internet, it is no. not a good thing. Sal oh. Being a salty dog or like salty. Like if Josh, if he isn't happy with the quality of the food in a restaurant, he can sometimes get a bit salty. So like putting salt into a wound would, would have that negative connotation. Yeah, yeah, maybe, there you go. What about when something's lit? The cricket today was so lit. So it's lit up. <laughs> you can also say something's fire. So it's exciting. That's lit, bruv. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing Gucci. Well, presumably that's tickety boo or something, isn't yeah. it? Because yeah. Gucci what is tickety boo? Is... Yeah, it was something they used in the 1920s <laughs> to refer for good. There's a lot out there, Dad. There is, yes. Do you know what crepes are? 
<laughs> They're poorly pronounced pancakes. <laughs> crepes reverses shoes. Crepe check. Yeah. Take a look at your crepes. Let's see your crepes, Dad. Yeah. Just some normal crepes. <laughs> I haven't actually heard of the next one. Chonk. A chonk is a chubby house cat. <laughs> <laughs> chonk is a great word. Right, I think we're going to finish up with some emoji slang. Oh, okay, I like this. It's what a goat. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do, do you think that stands for? What do you think that stands for? If someone sent you a goat after this video comes out. In the comments, just spam goat. If you stan Ollie's dad. Yeah. I suppose they like goats. I don't know. <laughs> It's an abbreviation for greatest of all time. Oh, so they can be like, okay, Ollie's okay. the goat. Yeah. It's interesting goats, because that goats. contradicts the concept of the sheep and the goats. You don't want to be the goats, you want to be no, the really? sheep. So the goats literally aren't the greatest of all time. No, the sheep aren't. The sheep are. Jokes on the goat. All right, if someone sent you that snake yeah. after a disagreement. I'm going to slither away. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> It's more of an aggressive Oh really? Yeah. It's Snake. accusing you of being a backstabber. And then clapping hands is pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Although now the way to use a clapping hand emoji is between every word in a sentence. This was a great video. You could start doing that. Emphasis. You could start using that. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not. Text your accountant when he does your end of year accounts. Yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> for the tax return. It saved me a lot of time and money. You are the goat. All right, Dad, do you well, feel more informed? I really do, and yeah. I'm going to be sending goats to all sorts of people. Yeah, oh, really? <laughs> well, no, because technically, no two people can be the greatest of all time, well, Dad. A different things. Oh, good a different things. Oh, yeah, yeah, different things. Well, that's been internet slang and a whole load of other slang. We'll see you. General slang. Jolly soon. See you later. Bye. Bye.